What's up YouTube, Drew here, and today I have one that's a little bit different. I am going to try to modify this DeWalt half inch impact. This is the DCF, that's David Charlie Frank, 894 model, and just like my first DeWalt tool, which was this uh, XR 20 volt uh, impact driver here for, you know, mostly screws and small bolts and things like that. Uh, it's been life-changing. I saw a cousin of mine use one of these with an adapter to a half-inch socket, take lug nuts off of a one-ton truck, and thought, man, I've avoided batteries for long enough. I bought it. I actually used this to take lug nuts off a vehicle and thought, why beat it up? So I bought this one. I made one huge mistake when I bought it, and that is I got the model with this little, you know, even now... It's not working properly, there we go, with this little pin that locks sockets on. Now, some of my sockets, you know, if you look, you know, there's the square hole there on the side, there's a circular hole that would be for like, a, I guess a ball bearing, but this being a sharp pin, it, I, I mean, all the effort that I don't have to use with wrenches, all the, you know, pain I save myself and my, you know, my wrists, my elbows and my shoulders, which are tired of working on cars, I uh, sometimes find myself exerting even more just trying to get a socket on and off of this stupid thing which gets stuck in and then the socket falls off and it's obnoxious. So the mistake that I made is buying this model. They actually make a model DCF8999 and that one has what's called a hog ring and that's where on the end of the square uh, pin here, I guess you'd call it, the end of the square anvil, there's a, a, a ring that it's kind of like in an axle shaft, right? So a socket stays on that way. And I ordered the replacement anvil um, for that model, and it very obviously was different than this one. So unfortunately, I had to send it back. And I did some searching, thinking it's hopeless, because DeWalt said there was no option, and I came across this. So I'm going to open that up right here on camera for you and show you the part number for this guy is going to be in the description. I believe it is N is in Nancy 536975. I just have to make sure that's what I searched for online. But this, that's the hog ring that I was talking about. Right here, this little ring that can spin. And this is actually a part number for a Black & Decker product. It's not technically a DeWalt product, but supposedly it works. Um, I found one of these on eBay listed this way. So what we're going to do is we are going to take this apart, which is fairly easy. Um, you know, obviously I have no responsibility here if you mess up your uh, DeWalt tool. But all you got to do, so all you got to do is take out these four screws. The big thing here is inside this is oiled. And you want to leave that alone. Don't take any of that off. Don't mess any of it up. Probably a wise idea to take the tool out of the battery too. So this is the moment of truth. There's no screwing around. I had no idea leading into this job if these were the same. Now to me, right off the bat, they look exactly the same other than the obvious difference, which is the upgrade as I see it to the hog ring. So what I'm going to do, just some basic uh, measuring tools here. I'm going to take an attempt on camera to see if these are about the same. I'm not sure if I use these tools properly, but I've used them for years to fabricate parts for hot rods and um, whether or not I'm using them the correct way that they were intended, they've been extremely helpful to me. I use them to transfer measurements and things like that. Um, so the diameter of this shaft is exactly the same, which is critical. That was one of the differences with the, uh, the one that was wrong. So the, the uh, diameter of the base is the same. Not that it necessarily matters, but we'll see if the length is the same. The overall length. And it is within probably a millimeter, but what's actually important the height from the flat surface on the top to the bottom of the key shaped piece 
is exactly the same. And then lastly, I want to see if that dimension's the same. It is. And then this dimension right here, the circular part, is the same. I didn't grab my other tool for measuring inside you know, diameters of circles and inside measurements and things, but it'll be very easy to just see if that fits on there. Fits like a glove. Absolutely awesome. So I'm gonna call this dirty, but a definite big time success. I have absolutely loved what this tool is capable of doing, but I have absolutely hated that pen. It has made using the tool absolutely miserable. So the purpose of this video is to demonstrate or to, I guess, experiment on camera. I had no prior uh, you know, exposure to this part. I had no prior practice with this. I didn't have any prior measurements. I went based on kind of like my gut feeling and I'm absolutely elated that that was correct. So obviously I can't you know, have any responsibility or liability whatsoever if you guys make this modification and something like explodes and sticks in your eye or something crazy like that. But the gist of it is a tool that, you know, was so much more useful potentially with that part on it now has that part on it. You saw it on camera. Again, the part number, which I believe to be N53, six nine seven five the actual part number and a link to where i bought this on amazon will be in the description of this video so if you are out there today and you have the dewalt dcf 894 and you can't stand that little pin and you want a hog ring like a regular tool this is the solution for you all right let's make sure that these modifications work take a lug nut off of this beast Absolutely awesome. So hey, big thing here. If this video was helpful at all, if it was entertaining, if you liked it, if you think a friend can use it, please like it, share it with everybody you think that it would benefit and consider subscribing to the channel. Usually we don't work on tools, we work on cars. Um, you know, regular cars, usually Toyotas, Hondas, hybrids, uh, big time, and then uh, cars imported from Japan and classic American cars as well as hot rods and street rods. So if you think that's up your alley, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up because it helps us and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.